So we're going to do a little bit different warm up today, and then we're going to do some twists and things. So feet hip width apart, straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up, just like always mountain pose. Ribs in and up, shoulders down. Breathe deep. Exhale any tension. And just focus inward. We're going to start with a twist. So keep lengthening up through the top of your head and just swing side to side gently. So the whole body moves. Follow your hands around to each side as you do that circuit. And as you keep lengthening and letting the spine open, you may go a little further at each end of the circuit. So that's okay. Only do what's good for you. So keep breathing. Just relax your shoulders. Keep lengthening your spine. And then come back to the center. And like a backstroke in swimming, bring your arm up near your ear. And let your whole body turn a little bit as you're going through that range of motion. So just keep reaching up through the crown and again through the fingertips. And then both arms come up, stretch up on one side, come up on the opposite toe. So the side you stretch, the foot stays flat, lengthening through the oblique, the side. Exhale down, inhale, stretch. Exhale, release, inhale, up. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Stretch the arms out. Pivot forward, back flat. And then down into ragdoll. And sliding up, slowly wind your way back to the top. Bring your hands behind your back. Press the heels of the palms into your shoulder blades. And a little back bend. So chest high, shoulders down, elbows toward each other. And then inhale, upright and release. Take your hands and clasp them behind you. Bring them up to about shoulder level or however high they feel comfortable. Sitting bones down, crown high, and exhale and twist to one side. Keep the hands together as much as you can. Lift the chest. And then pivot in the twist, exhaling into the forward bend. So just deepen as much into that as you want. The hands come up toward the ceiling, head down toward your leg. So just take a moment to breathe, just relaxing. And then slowly work your way back up. Lift your heart, push your hands down, staying in your twist. So chest high. Not in the low back too much. And then inhale up. Exhale to the center. Switch the clasp of your hands to the other finger outside. And again, push the hands down. Open across the heart. Stretch up through the top of your head. Exhale and twist to the opposite side. And again, as you breathe in, lengthen. And as you exhale, pivot over. So come as deep into your forward bend as you'd like. You can tuck your chin in and bring your head toward your leg. And keep the hands going up toward the ceiling or over toward your head. So again, just breathe and relax. And then in the twist, work your way back up. As you get to the top, hands press down, chest goes high, and look overhead. And then exhale back to the center and release. And just take a moment feeling your spine a little bit more stimulated, getting ready for our practice. And then inhale the arms overhead and pivot over into ragdoll. Hands slide up onto your shins, straighten your back. And then look to one side. Keeping your back as straight and flat as you can, getting a little twist through your spine. And then exhale, look back down toward the floor. Lengthen again, sitting bones and crown away. And twist to the opposite side, looking over, turning your whole upper body into that twist. And then exhaling, 
Look back down to the floor and slowly wind your way back into standing, shoulders up, back, and down. And then arms out, palms up, look overhead, swan dive forward, and come all the way down to child's pose. So hips back to your heels, hands next to your feet, forehead down toward the floor. And as always, do your padding under your ankles, hips and heels, calves and thighs, or under your forehead, or just relax. Knees together, stretch that low back, or separate your knees, breathe easier. And then inhale those arms around to the front and pivot up. We're coming onto hands and knees. So bring the knees under your hips, street, feet straight back, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. <clears throat> so nice flat back, bottom ribs up to support your spine, chest down toward the floor. Lengthen, and we're going to do a little cat. So inhale, ribs down toward the floor, solar plexus down, coming into your back bend, hips up, chest forward, looking to the front, crown toward the ceiling. Don't crunch your neck too much. You can keep it a little bit chin toward your chest. And then solar plexus and bottom of your shoulder blades up as you tuck in your chin and sitting bones down, coming into your cat forward bend. And then inhale and come back to neutral. Turn and look over one side, keeping your back flat, getting a stretch through the ribs on the opposite side. Inhale back to the center. Exhale and turn to the opposite side. Again, ribs stretching, spine going laterally. And then inhale and come back to the center. Take a moment to breathe. And then we're going to again, Bring the ribs down, coming into the back bend, chest forward and up. And then exhale, angry cat, forward, forehead down, ribs up, sitting bones down. Now this time, we're going to work the arms a little bit. And bend your elbows and bring your forehead down toward the floor, bowing cat. And then press back up and again into neutral table position. Take a moment there, feel your body. And then we're going to exhale, bring the right knee toward your forehead and tuck your chin in, bring your forehead and knee toward each other. And then inhale and stretch the right leg back, straight at hip level, both hip bones facing the floor. And then tuck your chin in and again, bend your elbow, bring your forehead down toward the floor. Leg can come up higher in line with your body. And then pivoting back up, pushing into your hands, exhale and bring the knee back to the mat. So take a moment there, feel your body, notice how you're doing and get ready for the opposite side. So connect into those hands. If you need to circle your wrists, remember you can do that too. And then we're going to again, tuck in your chin, exhale, left knee to your forehead, forehead toward the knee. And then inhale, bring that leg back straight out. And keeping it out, bend your elbows, forehead down toward the floor, leg going up. And push into your hands, coming back up, and release that knee. Take a moment there, feel your body. Stretch your spine. And we're going to just bring the right knee up, keeping everything perpendicular. So the foot and the knee stay 90 degrees as you just lift it out to the side, a little hip opener. And then bring that back down. And then shifting to the other side. Again, keep everything straight in that leg, just like it was in table position, bringing it up to hip level and putting it back down. So take a moment, feel your body. And slide one hand forward, bring that elbow down. 
shoulder toward your hand, coming a little bit to the front. Exhale and twist, turning your head toward the side. So the whole body is turning, not just your neck, everything looking to the side in that twist. And then rotate your body back, face to the floor, slide that hand back into table position. Ribs are up at the bottom of your spine, keeping that lower back supported. And then slide the other hand forward, elbow right below where your shoulder is. And again, shoulder pushes forward toward that hand, stretching your spine open for the twist. And again, exhaling, rotating, looking to the side or further up toward the ceiling if you like a twist. Maximize or minimize, do what's right for your twist. And then rotating your upper body, looking back to the floor, press into your hand and back into table position. And then sink back onto your hips, to your heels, and suck all your wrists a couple of times just to give them a little relief. And then pivot back up onto your hands and knees. So we're going to do the threading the needle. Remember, when you thread the needle, three options. You can stop at any point. Take your hand palm up. Slide it through between your other hand and knee. Bring your head and shoulder down to the mat. And that hand on the floor, the elbow, reaches up toward the ceiling. Level one of the twist. Stay there if that's where you are. If you're ready for level two, take your foot near your front hand and allow that to press away through the heel, getting your lower back a little more into the twist. And then hand above your shoulder and looking at it, draw it further into your twist if you want to. And remember, it gets a little balancy. If you go there, don't do it too far. And then if your hand is up, bring it back down. If your leg is out, bring it back in. Press into your hand and back into table position, feeling all that twist energy through you. And of course, we'll twist to the other side, threading the needle. So level one, just slide that hand palm up through all the way to the side. And as you're in that position, just go ahead and make sure your head and shoulder are on the floor, not your neck. And then bring your leg out in front of you and allow that heel to press away for your lower back twist. And if you want to go to level three, that hand comes up in the air. And looking at it, roll toward the back of your head into the twist a little bit further. And again, only go as far as your body finds appropriate, doing what's right for you, personal practice. And then bringing your hand back down if it's up, bringing your knee back in if it's out, unthread, and come back to table. And then again, sinking back in the child's pose, small eyes to the microphone. So as you come into child's pose, just let everything be straight. And relax. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels and bring your legs out in front. And we're going to do a few more twists, twist day today. So heels out and toes up, sitting bones connected, spine lengthening, everything coming into staff position. So as you're in that position, make sure your sitting bones are connected, your shoulders are relaxing down. We're going to bring the right foot, one foot up to your inner opposite thigh. Sitting bones connect, knee out to the side. Bend your knee and bring it in close to your hip. Stretch up through your spine. Take your opposite hand to the knee. Other arm out in front and pivot into your twist. Bring the hand behind you to the mat close to your body. You can take that opposite hand to the bottom of your foot. And then stretch up 
and pivot a little deeper into that twist. And then bring the hand behind you up, follow it back around to the center, releasing your hands and your legs coming back into staff. Take a moment and breathe. And then the opposite side. Foot up to the upper thigh, heel back near your hip. Take your hand to the opposite knee, arm up at shoulder level, stretch from your sitting bones up and follow it around into your twist. Hand close to your body on the mat. Bring your other hand to the bottom foot, stretch up through your spine and exhale and twist a little deeper toward that first bent knee. And then bring your arm back up, follow it back to the center and release your hands and unwrap your leg back into staff. Take a moment feeling your spine and just noticing how you're feeling through your entire body. And then we're gonna separate the feet coming into a little bit of a wide-legged position. And again, kind of shift into the front of your sitting bones as you do that so that you've got that nice pelvic opening. Heels out, toes forward, toes up on the extended leg. And then once more, hands to your side, bring them out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders. Exhale, bring your hands down to your shoulders. Inhale, stretch way up. Exhale again, hands down to your shoulders. Stretch way up. Exhale, hands down. Turn toward one foot. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, pivot, reach for that leg. So chest and chin are coming toward the leg, not the top of your head or your forehead. Top of your head is reaching toward your toes and the toes are pulling back. So just lengthen, kind of sink into both sitting bones as evenly as you can. Don't forget to keep pressing out through both heels. And then reach forward further, inhale, Pivot back up. Now keeping that same twist, we're going to bring the hand near that leg down and reach over with the hand in the air toward your toe on that opposite leg. So as you come into that kind of side bend with the twist, just feel your whole body. If you like, you can bring that arm that's along your leg in front of the knee and pivot looking a little further up toward the ceiling for a little bit more twist. So crown is reaching still toward your toes, sitting bones as much evenly down as possible. And then bring the arm in the air up, follow it up and twist back to the center. Feel your spine, feel your body, and again, sink into the sitting bones. Relax your hands at your sides. Inhale them out to the sides, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders. Sink down, hands to your shoulders. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale and release. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale and sink down with the hands. Keep the spine long. Exhale, turn to the side as you stretch up. And lead with your chin and your chest, reaching for your foot onto that opposite leg. And again, <clears throat> kneecap toward your thigh, tighten the front of your thigh, letting the hamstring get a good stretch as you go into that forward bend in that twisty position. So just relax, deepen chest and chin toward your leg, top of the head toward your foot, not your forehead. And then again, releasing that leg, Inhale, bring your arms up by your ear. Bring the arm near the opposite leg down. And again, stretch across, reaching for your foot with that opposite hand. 
Once more, just stay there if that's good. Sink into both sitting bones. You're in a twist, so the side of your body is up toward the ceiling. If you like it a little bit more, you can leverage that elbow in front of your knee and twist a little further to look up under your arm. So just keep reaching that arm toward your foot, however far it wants to go. And then bring the arm in the air up, follow it up, sitting back up, and release. Take a moment to feel how that's through your spine, through your body. And then bending your knees, bring your legs back in and out to staff position. And just take a moment feeling your sides and your spine a little bit more stimulated. And then bring your feet to the end of the mat and we're gonna roll onto our backs for, yeah, a couple more twists. So just bring your body down onto the floor, relaxing in a little reclined integration. And then arms out to the side in T position. Press your back down toward the mat. Bend your knees. Bring the heels in close to your body. So lengthen sitting bones toward your heels, getting your whole spine connected, and then lift your feet off the floor. You can turn your hands, palms down for a little more stability to keep your shoulders down on the mat. Or you can keep them palms up if that's good for you. So we're going to roll the knees up toward the elbow as you look over your shoulder toward the arm behind you. So a little extra work in that lower back for this twist this morning. Deep breath, just relaxing. As always, you can pad under that leg if you need to so that you don't have too much stress and strain. Keeping your head on the mat, just turn toward that arm behind you. And then heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. You can bring your feet to the floor for a little relaxation if you need to. Again, sitting bones toward your heels, back on the floor as you raise your feet off the mat. And the knees roll toward the elbow. And the head turns toward the arm behind you, coming into that version of the twist this morning. Deep breath, just relaxing, letting the lower back have as much twist as it needs, the middle back and the neck and shoulder as well. And then heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back and bring the feet to the mat. And again, just take a moment feeling all that twist energy through your body as you breathe. And then we're going to do a little bit different twist than we've done before. Take your right knee over the left leg, like you're crossing your legs if you were seated. And then as you exhale, we're going to roll over with the knee toward the mat as far as it wants to go. And again, turning your head toward the arm behind you. So just coming into that version of the twist as much or as little as your body would like. So it's a little bit more intense in the lower back again. So don't be too emphatic if that's wrong for your body. Do what's right, personal practice. And again, as you exhale, just relax. And then as you inhale, roll back onto your back and uncross your legs. And again, reposition as you need to, sliding the sitting bones toward your heels, getting that back connected. And then bring your opposite leg across, crossing as if you were sitting in a chair. Take a moment to lengthen your spine. And then as you exhale, again, knees to the side and turning your head toward the arm behind you. So the knees never need to reach the floor. That's very intense in your low back. If that's something that your body doesn't want to do, don't go there. Keep your shoulders as much as you can, both down on the floor evenly. 
And of course, head turning and looking behind you for that neck and shoulder area twist. Go only as far as your body wants to go. Relaxing, breathing. And again, when you're ready to release, roll back onto your back, uncross the legs, and take a moment to observe all your twist energy moving through you. Take a breath, just relax. And then one more for the lower back. We're going to extend the legs out. Bend one knee and put that foot on top of the opposite thigh. Hands or palms up at T, at T position, straight out from your shoulders. And then we're going to bring the palms together in front of you and roll all the way over to the side, bringing the knee down to the floor. Keep your head on the mat or pad under it if you need to to protect your neck. Hand that's on the floor. On top of that knee that came over, the other arm straight up from your shoulder. And looking at it, follow it behind you into your twist. So this arm that's coming behind you may not make it to the floor. That's okay. Just when gravity does, let it do its work. Keep the knee on the floor again for that lower back twist. Bring that arm and shoulder down for your middle back twist. And keep looking toward the hand behind you for your Upper back, neck and shoulder twist. Deep breaths in, exhaling, letting the ligaments release and your spine maybe adjust a little bit into that position. And then when you're ready to release, letting go of your knee, rolling onto your back and sliding the foot next to the other one. Take a moment to feel the twist energy, getting ready to twist to your opposite side. So press your low back down, bend your other leg, foot to the side, and again, rolling all the way, hands together, palms up, all the way to the side. And as you're there on your side, hold the bottom arm onto the knee, other arm coming up toward the ceiling. Keep the palm open to the front and toward the ceiling as you lower that arm at shoulder level behind you. So keeping the knee down is your low back twist. Arm coming down is your middle back twist. And head turning is your upper back neck and shoulder twist. Do what's right for your body. Personal practice. Maximize or minimize wherever you need to. Again, exhaling, letting things release through the spine into your twist. And then when you're ready to release, let go of your knee, roll onto your back, and slide the feet next to each other into corpse position. Hands at your hips, palms up, and body relaxing, allowing your focus to turn inward for our final relaxation. So go ahead, take a few moments to realign and reposition. Soften your sacrum and hips down into the floor. Feet separated slightly, toes more or less still up to the ceiling. Palms up with your hips, even with your hips, but slightly away from your side with your hands. Shoulders relaxing down and just kind of lengthen through your spine. And then exhaling, let your whole body relax. So lots of twist energy today. Notice if it's activated your meditative connection in the middle of your skull. And just focus there as you let your body relax completely. And as your body sinks and grows heavy, let Mother Earth embrace you and hold you, supporting you as always and let your body go completely. And as your body relaxes, just let your mind release and drift as well, focusing into that middle skull, letting that meditative connection draw you into the peace, allowing any content of your thoughts to dismiss, drifting away as easily as your breath. 
and releasing any thoughts of the past or anticipation of the future. Just let the peace within be your focus. Filling your body with peace. Filling your mind with peace. Just becoming peace. And if you'd like to keep relaxing, feel free to do that. If you're ready to begin returning to the moment for the rest of the day, just bring energy and awareness back to the moment, back to the room, back to your body. Moving your body gently as you become ready. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, press your back down, draw your knees toward your heart, and... Give yourself that appreciative hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work it does for you every day. And then releasing and rolling to the side and sitting back up. Just get ready for the rest of the day ahead. Thanks for joining me this morning.